Hey guys, you probably will be wanting to upgrade your device to your Android 6 Marshmallow even if there is no official support for it. And here I come, this tutorial will help you to get Android 6 or CyanogenMode 13 on your mobile device or a tablet. I'll be using my Samsung Galaxy Tab 2 GTP5110 to illustrate the method. This method is almost the same across all the Android devices, so just use the same logic and apply it to, apply it to your device. And I'll provide a mini summary and all the links will be in the video description. Alright, let's get started then. If you have already rooted your device, you can just skip to major step 2. The major um, step 1, the first step, is to root your device. Um, before you do that, make sure you've installed all the USB drivers for your tablet or, or your device. To do that, go to um, um, Google and type USB um, drivers uh, Samsung. And usually it's the first link and click on the first link and you will have to download this file here, Samsung USB driver for mobile phones and you will get this zip file and then extract the zip file and you will get this exe and install it, it will take like a minute or so once you finish that, you can now move on to second step which is to enable the USB debugging on your device so to do that go to your device settings and then click on to developer options if you don't have developer options, click on about device and click on the build number like three four five times and they will appear the developer options and enable that and here i've already ticked the usb debugging so it should be good to go and we can now start um, rooting the device to do that you have to download odin 3.09 um, i'll provide the link in the description too now to download odin just go to odindownload.com once you get to the web page then go down and try um, the third one, Odin version 3.09, download that file, you'll get the zip file here, extract that, you'll get these two uh, files, make sure you download this, um, you extract this one as well, um, Odin 3.ini, that's important. Um, now once you've done that, now to root your device, you have to put your device into download mode. To do that, turn off your device first. and then boot it into download mode. If you have plugged in the USB cable, unplug that because it will tag it and still charging. You don't want to do that. And now just press the bell power button and the volume up button simultaneously. And click volume down to continue. It's just a download mode and plug your USB cable. And open Odin. And it should be detected right here. If it's not detected, give it a few seconds a few minutes and it's also I say added here just wait for a couple of minutes it is safer and more reliable all right once all the drivers has been installed click on AP here and then navigate to your recover um, the root file and this link is also in the video description which is here um, the file is over here now this file is for the to use with Odin this file is to upgrade to recovery and this file is the official CM30 or an official CM30 ROM. Right, so we are good to go and click start. Now you'll see the flashes on your tablet. Let me say remove, reset OK, everything's fine. And your tablet should be rooted. So just wait for your tablet to reboot and we are good to go to the next step which is installing the CMW recovery. Alright so now once you've finished that step you'll see this pass green light and then now you have to copy this zip file um, GTP5110 CMW this is the recovery file that will allow you to have a successful route. Now copy that and paste it to your device. And 
by the way, don't extract this zip file. It has to be a zip format. Once you've done that, close it. You can now close Odin and reboot your tablet into recovery mode. To do that, just click power off. Okay. And unplug your USB if you want so. Because like I said, you don't want to you don't want it to be charged. Alright, once it's fully off, click the power button and volume down simultaneously. Once you see the logo, you release the power button, but hold the volume down. And now you get to the recovery, 6.0.5.1. And go to, use these power buttons to navigate. To do that, go um, press the volume down. Now you get to install zip and press the power button to select it. And choose zip from SD card and click on legacy, no zero and press this one or whatever the file that is located and now press that GTP5110 press that power button and then it will say install and click yes using that power button to navigate and you will see this down here and it's done now I'll just go back and then just reboot the system and once you get to this step just press yes boot device and wait for it to reboot and once the device has been rebooted just check whether the root is successful or not just press some like root checker and that should tell you whether it's successful or not. Right, press the verify status, and you should see the congratulations is fully successful. Blah blah blah. So now we are good to go to the third final step, which is to install the um, CMW, the actual 13 um, Samsung Mate 13 or oh, Android 6 Marshmallow. Alright, so once your tablet has been rebooted, and if it's not detected on your computer, um, if, it, if it doesn't say anything over here, GTP or uh, whichever the model is, just go to Google Play Store and download Super User and another Super User. I don't know if that was a problem for me or not, but downloading those two, it fixes the problem. Because previously uh, it wasn't detected, so I have to download this super user and it says super user binary must be updated just update it in case okay so now final step is to copy the ROM custom room um, CM13 onto your device just copy paste it to your root folder because it will be much more faster And once they're fully loaded, paste. And make sure that your file is not corrupted though. If it's corrupted, then you have to reboot the system and there is a lot of problem there. And now it's time for it to finish and we can reboot into recovery mode, install the ROM and finished. Alright, once you've finished copying, close the, all the tabs and you can reboot your tablet into recovery mode. To do that, turn off the power first. Turn it off and plug your USB and then hold the power button and volume down simultaneously. Once the logo come up, release the power button, hold the volume down and you'll get to this tab and here use this um, volume key to navigate and install zip file. Choose it from SD card and click, click legacy or zero, it doesn't matter and navigate to the file CM13 click yes and there we go we are now installing CM13 Android 6 Marshmallow to the device
they say install from SD card is complete go back and find the file that you install which is arm610 nano 2016 and click yes and you'll see that installing okay so once it finished go back and wipe data and factory reset again just to be sure and wipe cage partition click yes and now reboot the system so finally done so this um, it has been finished from boot and now it is optimizing all the apps and if you have any questions at the moment you can just drop it down in the comment below I'll try to answer it within like um, 24 hours okay so now the device is almost done finish and boot and it should be ready to rock okay so this is a lovely Sinojamo 13 choose the language English Australia no they don't have Australia yes they do have Australia just connect to the Wi-Fi click next you don't have to fix anything okay so there we have it this is a Sanogemo 13 Android 6.0 running on Samsung GT P5110 yeah lovely I just love this game that they made yay I got zero <laughs> okay guys that's pretty much it if you have any questions, drop it down in the comment below. If you enjoyed the video, hit that like button, subscribe for more tech related videos, and as always, thanks for watching.